Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the factor of safety, and I will explain this topic with the help of an example in order to understand it more easily. So the factor of safety can be defined as it is equal to the capacity. It is the ratio of capacity over the demand, or we can say the strength. the strength of the material divided by the stress on the material so the ratio of these two quantities is known as the factor of safety now how to explain this with the help of an example in order to understand it easily so let's consider this is a simply supported beam which is supported by hinge and roll support and there is some load we can see here uniformly distributed load of Q acting on this beam and let's suppose we call that there is the demand this load is known as the demand on the beam and let's suppose this demand or we call the stress due to the load acting on this beam is let's suppose 400 or simply 4 40 kilonewton per square meter. This is the demand or the stress due to this load acting on the beam. Is let's suppose 40 kilonewton per square meter. Now this due to this load there will be some resistance provided by this beam in the upper direction in order to take this load. So this will be some resistance created by this beam section in order to take this demand or stress. So this will be the capacity of the beam so this resistance which is provided by the beam will be the capacity or the we call it strength of the beam so and we assume that this capacity or strength of the beam is let's suppose capacity or the strength of the beam of this beam section let's suppose is 80 kilonewton per square meter this is just an example that our demand or stress on the beam is let's suppose 40 kN per square meter and our capacity or strength of this beam is 80 kN per square meter. So the ratio of these two terms will be the factor of safety for this beam. So factor of safety will be equal to the capacity divided by demand or the strength dividing by the stress. So the capacity or strength of this beam is 80 kilonewton per square meter dividing by the demand or stress so demand or stress is equal to 14 kilonewton per square meter so kilonewton per square meter kilonewton per square meter will be cancelled so dividing 80 by 40 we got here 2 so the factor of safety for this beam section is 2 it means that strength or the capacity of the beam is two times that of the demand or the stress acting on the beam and it should be kept in mind the factor of safety is always greater than one or equal to one in most of the cases it is greater than one but in some cases it is also possible it is equal to one but it can never be less than the one because the capacity or the strength of the material or the section should always be greater than the demand on the material or on the section. Now, if I discuss the same problem with in case of the column, so let's suppose this is any column. We see here, this is any rectangular column and there is some load acting on this column. It's a compressive load. So, and we assume that this load is let's suppose is 4 or we can see this load is 400 kilonewton this load is 400 kilonewton is a compressor load acting on this column and the resistance provided by this column to this load is let's suppose the resistance provided by this load is equal to 1200 kilonewton so we can define the factor of safety for this column 
the capacity divided by the demand. So capacity means the resistance capacity of this column is 1200 kilonewton dividing by the demand on the column. The demand on the column, the load acting on the column is 400 kilonewton. So kilonewton, kilonewton will be cancelled and we will remain with 3. So it means that the factor of safety for this column is 3. So it is no unit and it is also greater than 1. So it means that the strength or the resistance we can say R is resistance, so resistance of this column is 3 times that of the load acting on the column. So resistance of this column or the capacity of the column is equal to 3 times the load acting on the column. So the factor of safety is 3 for this case. So hope you guys understand what is factor of safety and how we can define the factor of safety. And factor of safety determines that how much your structure or any beam section or column section is safe against the load acting on the column. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily seven engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.